What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today I am talking about an ink, not a pen. Uh, ink by Diamine or Diamine, no judging, uh, called Night Sky, part of their Shimmertastic line. And for the tea, some Snow Day. So this tea is an herbal blend actually. Get that up. Oh yeah, so good. Um, which means that it's very low caffeine, which most of mine are. Put that there. So you can see it's a loose leaf tea as well, which means you will bag it yourself or put it into a strainer, whichever you'd like. Get back in there. And it is a chocolatey peppermint. Um, not the same as the After 8, the one that I showed you before. This one is much more uh, intense, I guess I should say. Not so sweet, not so dessert-like, even though it still is chocolate peppermint. Um, you put one and a half teaspoons or one and a quarter teaspoons per whatever you'd like um, into your pre-bag or your strainer or anything like that um, into 96 degrees Celsius water or 205 degrees uh, Fahrenheit water. Um, again, I've done this when I had a full boil, so 212 degrees Fahrenheit. I haven't noticed a difference, so go ahead and do whatever you want. <laughs> um, and then you let it steep for about uh, four to seven minutes, depending on how strong you like it. Um, I do put a tad bit of sugar in this one, but definitely no like milk, no nothing like that. It's it's herbal tea, so you don't want any kind of dairy product in there. Um, it is nine dollars for this tin, which you get fifty grams. Um, but I believe it's eight fifty or eight twenty five. Maybe even a little bit less, I don't remember. Um, if you buy just the loose leaf, you pay a little bit more to get it in the tin than you would on its own. Um, and it is from David's Tea again. Um, and it comes out around the Christmas time. Um, and as far as I'm aware, it was out last year as well. So hopefully it's out next year um, because it's quite delicious. I'm drinking that delicious tea out of my Hansen mug. Yes, Hansen, as in mbop, dooby dop, ba doo bop from the early 90s. Yes, those guys. Um, as you can tell here, this is their Mbop record, but they've come out with loads more and there actually is another one here, but I bought this mug after Shout It Out album. They just released one called Anthem. So definitely, honestly, check them out. They're so good, but nobody realizes that they've done more past the early 90s. All right, so Diamine, Diamine, however you want to pronounce it. Night Sky on Filofax paper. I haven't used this in a while, that's why it does that. So as you can see, it's going on pretty freaking dark. Um, it pretty much does that on any paper, which you'll see. Oops, can't spell dog. Now normally I would smear that on all my writing samples, but just for now I'm not going to so that I can show you the silver. It's kind of hard to show the silver on this paper, but you can see a fair amount, which is actually really impressive because it's such an absorbent paper. I love the Filofax notebook but I dislike the paper. Uh, it's not very good for fountain pens, but as you can see, I mean, there's really no feathering whatsoever. And that amazes me on this paper. So this ink does very, very well on the Filofax paper. So this is Tomoe River paper. As you can see, it does kind of clog up the feet a little bit when you start, but considering how much shimmer is in this, that is really not too much to ask for. Hey, I spelled dog right this time. Who knows? The 
ink actually comes out pretty well from this pen. Um, you can see, if I can try and get this to focus, the shimmer that kind of stays in the feed, which is why it's a little hard to clean out. So for these, I do tend to put them into um, like not as good pens. So this is actually Jinhao 159 uh, with a medium goulet nib on it. Close that up. So, as it dries here, it takes a little bit longer to dry in Tomoe River than it does the Filofax, um, but even then it's still pretty darn quick. Um, it's like the same thing with all the other ones, where it goes on really black, really saturated, and then as it dries you see that sheen come out. It's really hard to find lighting where I can show you the shimmer, because you see a pretty good amount here, but you, in real life you will actually see a little bit more. of the silver shimmer but once again no feathering no nothing which is amazing um, because you know you would think with such a, an intense ink that you may have issues but you really don't with this one and on the other side if I can flip it over Again, you really don't see that much see-through, which is just a testament to this paper because it is wafer thin, guys. It is insane, but yet it behaves so well and takes such a crazy ink. This ink in particular has exceeded all expectations as far as behavior on paper. I mean, you saw by the final facts, that right there is a test. So, Diamond Night Sky. Jinhao 159 with a medium goulet nib steel, um, Rhodia 80 gram dot pad, smear test. It probably takes on this paper, um, which is the slowest drying paper I have, um, probably takes about 15 seconds um, for it to be completely dry. Because you can see here at 10 it smeared pretty good, but at 20 it didn't smear at all. Um, drip test, basically what I do is I put a drop, a drop, and then I'll press paper towel over it and not do anything just let it soak up and then I do like a line across here where I actually smear it a little bit um, just with plain water and I mean you can still see a little bit on the ones where I've just dabbed it um, but it smears pretty good so there's really not that much uh, water resistance on this one shade test there's no shading to be seen it is a saturated black ink um, so you're definitely not going to be getting any shading, but you have a crazy amount of shimmer, which like I said, when I pick it up, you'll be able to see. Um, so really that kind of negates the, the sheen to me. Um, so dry time, like I said, I said medium because it, whoop, camera, um, because it did smear on the first two, but not on the second two. Saturation, heavy, doesn't matter whether it's one pass, two passes, or three passes, it all pretty much looks the same. Uh, water resistance low. I didn't say non-existent because you can still see some, but low in the sense of you probably aren't going to read it if you get your notebook wet. Um, ease of cleaning. I said medium to hard. Um, in a pen like the Jinhao 159, um, it's going to be more medium because you can take the nib and the feed out um, and really get in there and clean out that um, silver shimmer. I will say though, that the diamine, <clears throat> sorry, the diamine, diamine inks um, are much easier to clean than the Gerba uh, equivalent. So for this one, it would be Gerba Stormy Gray. Ooh, look at that pretty. Um, that this is a lot harder to clean than um, the diamine version. Um, so that's why I put hard, is if you have it in a pen where you can't easily take it apart, then it's going to be more difficult to get all that shimmer through. Um, shading, absolutely none. And flow is fairly wet. Um, it's also more lubricated. I find the, the Diamine Shimmer Tastic inks than the Jair Bomb version of it. So as you can see when I hold it at a different angle, look at all that silver. Oh yeah. That is just gorgeous.
with the drip test, pretty much all that goes away. <laughs> um, one thing I will say as well in comparison to the Gerbain, um Stormy Grey is that the longer you write with the Gerbain one, the more you're going to kind of have to like shake up your pen in order to get that shimmer to come back out. It settles pretty intensely. I did not do that with this. I did not shake the pen whatsoever once I started writing. And I noticed a little bit of the shimmer going away as far as like not being quite as concentrated. Um, you know, this is the last thing I wrote, so you can see here. But it still has a lot of shimmer in it. So guys, the last torture test here is copy paper. So this is just standard paper that you'd buy from Staples when you go, you know, put something in your printer. And look at that. It is still super, super, super shimmery, which is so impressive because again, with the Gerbain ones, you put it on a super absorbent paper like that and your shimmer is gone. So guys, thank you so much for checking out my first ever ink review. Um, what did you think about it? Was there things that you liked, didn't like, things you wanted me to do next? Do you want me to do more ink reviews, paper reviews, case reviews, or do you want me to stick primarily to pens? Um, you know, let me know because I got loads and loads of ideas of what to, sh you know, bring up for you guys. Um, but I really want to know what you guys want to see. You know, if you really like the video, hit that like button. If you super liked it, hit the subscribe button. New, uh, new videos every Monday and Friday. And as always, leave loads of comments. I read them. I love them. I answer them. And I'll see you guys next time. Cheers. I really need a haircut. This is getting crazy long. Eh, whatever.